everybody, it's Gregory Scott here to do your tarot and numerology reading for Saturday the 1st of November 2014. Welcome to the new month. I'm going to draw three cards and I'm going to use the Druidcraft deck for today's reading. So let's have a look at what energy you'll be working with and what you can expect. Okay, so the first card is the Three of Cups in Reverse. And what you can see there is men celebrating and you know cheersing and having a good time and it's in reverse and what that means is um, it's time to do things by yourself and not to rely on the approval or the support of other people you can make new beginnings by yourself and you can do that by applying yourself you can see this woman here in the nine of pentacles she's in this very angelic kind of robe she's got her falcon there and what I love most about the Nine of Pentacles is the bird, because the bird is a bird of prey, you can see that there, and what this woman has done is she's trained that bird of prey to kind of come back and sit on her arm there, she's wearing a glove to protect her hand, and what that means is that she's disciplined and she's able to make things happen in her life as a result of applying herself, and that's what this represents, and you can see she's well off, she's in a good place she's you know this is a kind of self-made woman so that's the message for really the day so far you don't need to rely on anyone else you are you can be a self-made person and you can use your own kind of discipline and abilities to create whatever it is you want finally the four of pentacles and we've got two pentacles cards here and that really means that this has to do with something going on in the real world, or it has to do with your financial assets, or it has to do with money. So if you were thinking about this in astrology, this would be the second house, which has to do with assets and finances. And the Four of Pentacles, you can see this guy, kind of, uh, he's got this old-fashioned safe there, and he's kind of putting his money in and hoarding his treasures. And usually that has a, not a negative connotation, but it usually represents a need to kind of let go a little bit more but what this is saying is that you can create real financial abundance for yourself um, by applying yourself to your dreams and to your circumstances and to create what it is you want to create so really it's in your power basically is what it's saying today so if you've written a book but you haven't done anything with it market it you, you've got the power to do something with it if um, you know, you've had a hole in your ceiling for a week and you haven't found the right builders or the right contractors to sort it out, you can apply yourself and find the right people to do that for you. If there's something that's been really at risk or you've felt very vulnerable, you can take action to safeguard that for yourself and you can really make it more secure and solid. So at the center again is this woman in her white gown there, discipline, strength, and you really have that. So you can rely on yourself today. You've got everything in your power that you need to be doing. So trust that. Let's look at the numbers. 3 and 9 is 12. And 4 is 16. 1 and 6 is 7. And 7 in numerology represents mind. And it represents creativity. So by using your mind. By setting the right intentions. And by applying, your, by applying yourself to what it is you want to do. You can achieve it. You can do it. Have a fantastic day. If you'd like to have a private reading with me, please visit my website. It's gregoryscott.com and subscribe to my channel for more updates and to be notified about when these videos come out and to keep up to date with what I'm doing. Have a wonderful day and I'll speak to you soon.